Yo, 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 what's going on out that fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, fam. This one here is on three big dogs at the welterweight division. We got Earl the True Spence Jr., the king of the welterweight division, the unified WBC and IBF unified world champion, one of the hottest fighters in the game. Then we have Terrence T. Boy Crawford, the three division world champion, the former undisputed world champion, the current WO welterweight world champion, one of the other hottest fighters in the game. And then we have your Dennis Ugas, a man that made his name and deserved his respect. But Earl the True Spence Jr., Want to let Terrence T. Boy Crawford know, man, listen, I will send your ass a front row ticket to my fight and allow you in the ring after this your Dennis Ugas fight. You feel me? To get this fucking undisputed championship fight going down between me and you after I handle my business April the 16th. You understand me? After I handle my business April the 16th, Terrence T. Bud Crawford, you can step into this ring. And we can make this shit happen. You're a free agent. You ain't got to worry about Bob Arm no more. Right? You get to save all that promotion money in your pocket. And we need to make this happen for the fans in 2022, homie. 2022 can be a special year in boxing. It can be a special year in boxing. If turns T-Bug Crawford just step up to the plate, get that urgency up out his ass, and accept this fight with Earl the True Spence Jr. Because Earl the True Spence Jr. wants turns Bud Crawford. Let's keep it real. Earl Spence wants turns T. Bud Crawford in an undisputed fight at the welterweight division. These are all facts. These are all facts. Earl said it multiple times. It's up to this man right here. It's up to this man right here. I repeat, it's up to this man right here to play ball. To play ball, bro. And if we're keeping it real, man, you know, Bud is a hell of a fighter. You can't take nothing away from this dude right here. This dude is a fucking killer inside that square circle. He's a killer. And I always keep my shit, you know, firm down the middle. To where I think him and Earl Spence is a 50-50 fight. But I just got EJ beating this man. But Turns Bud Crawford have a big fucking chance of winning this fight. But the thing is, Turns Bud Crawford is not hotter than Earl Spence right now. He's not the pay-per-view king right now. He's not pulling in more than Earl Spence. So when it comes to the business side, Earl Spence got the lead on Bud, and Bud got to understand that and accept that. And that's what Bud can't understand. That's what he can't accept because he feel like he'll be taking a, 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 a back seat to Earl Spence, and you feel like, you know, he's, he's side to side with him. Of course, skill-wise, man, you side to side with him. Who knows? You feel me? But Earl Spence got to get past this man right here, your Dennis Ugas. Earl Spence got to get past you, Dennis Ugas, April the 16th. April the 16th, you know, I'm not just going to dismiss you, Dennis Ugas, even though I got EJ doing what he got to do to get this man up out of there. Ugas deserves his respect, and I'm not going to play with this man like he's a sucker, like he's a chump, like he's a nobody. Ugas is a bad motherfucker. You feel me? He fought Showtime Sean Porter. Arguably, be some people thought he won. I thought Porter uh, won the fight, but it was close. He went out there. He beat Omar Figueroa, the first man to beat Omar Figueroa. You know what I'm saying? He beat Jamal James. who held the regular title, right? And he beat uh, Ray Robinson, who was a hell of a fighter, bro. So, um, and not only that, the biggest win of his career, he beat Manny Pacquiao to snatch that motherfucking WBA title because people felt like he won the real champion, even though he had the ch he was the champion. But he beat Manny Pacquiao to take that title. So I'm giving Ugas his just due. I'm giving him, him his respect. I just think Big Dog, Big Fish, EJ, the king, you know, go do his thing on Ugas and show him, you know what I mean? I'm a different fucking animal and I'm a different fucking breed. But when that's over with and that's said and done, turns Bud Crawford. You are invited to Dallas, bro. You are invited to Dallas. I don't care what nobody's saying. Oh, man, people saying, Bud can't come to Dallas. They saying he can't do this. He can't do that. It's going to be like Malice in the Palace. All that shit. Listen, man, look. That dude could come to Dallas, bro. At the end of the day. Turns Bud Crawford can come to Dallas. You understand? This time, you will be invited into the ring. Because Earl Spence wants this fight. Like I've been saying. But it's up to Bud, bro. So... This year, man, we need this fight. We need this fight. <laughs> we need, and I'm not overlooking Ugas, nobody. Let me tell y'all this. Assuming Earl Spence get past you, Dennis Ugas, y'all see me just run Ugas his respect, giving him his just due for everything he done in this sport because he deserved that shit. And Ugas could fuck this shit up. I'm not just overlooking it, right? But ass uh, 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 assuming Earl Spence get past you, Dennis Ugas, like I think he is, turns Bill Crawford has an opportunity here to get into that ring and do something special, special. Do something special, special. You fit a fight for undisputed at the welterweight division. You was undisputed at the 140-pound division. You have an opportunity to be two-time undisputed. You have an opportunity to be two-time undisputed, bro. 
two time, bro. Two time, two time. You dig what I'm saying? Nobody has been two time money spirited. I don't think that there's been a, a man in boxing in this day and age. In this day and age, you dig what I'm saying? So if you go out there, bro, you beat Earl Spence, bro. You become two times undisputed. You the king at the welterweight division. Your popularity shoots up, bro. The popularity you've been looking for, the popularity you want, the popularity you said Bob Earn couldn't give you, that Bob Earn couldn't give you, bro, it's right there for you. It's right there for you. It's right there for the taking. It's right there for the taking. I promise y'all, if that boy turns Bill Crawford to defeat Earl Spence, that boy popularity boosts up. And he get all the recognition that he feel like he deserves, that he's owed, that he want. It's right there. But you got to want it, dog. You got to want it. You say you really been wanting EJ, right? You say you been chasing that man all this time. Or he ain't been wanting to fight you. You tired of chasing this, that, and third. Then you come out and say, if he get his tail from between his legs, everybody know who you want to fight. Bo Mack said, let's see if Earl Spencer drop his nuts. All these things y'all saying. Y'all saying one thing, but y'all doing another. Y'all saying one thing, but y'all doing another. Y'all know Earl Spencer go get the fight in after you went out there and knocked out Showtime Sean Porter. Y'all knew y'all wanted to fight Earl the True Spencer Jr. next. So y'all knew he had a fight coming. Y'all knew he was going to get a fight in. You wanted him to get a fight in because I know you just don't want to fight him off the injury because you said yourself, you said yourself, you don't want to fight Earl Spence coming off of no injury because you feel like you're not going to get the credit and the respect that you deserve because people go blame it on the injury. Did you not say that terms, Bud Crawford? Was those not your words, sir? Those was your words, sir. And I quote those were terms, Bud Crawford words. You understand what I'm saying? So now Earl Spence going in there with a credible foe and your Dennis Ugas who go push his ass, you know what I'm saying? Especially him coming off the injury, been out the ring almost a year and something, right? So he going in there with your Dennis Ugas, somebody who just beat Manny Pacquiao, somebody we know work his ass off, stay in shape. He wanted just as bad as any of you cats. So he want to spoil the fucking um, the, the apple court. He want to go out there and take them titles from Earl Spence and say, I told y'all boys that shit wasn't going down. So he coming to fight. He ain't bitching out like no Showtime. Sean Porter that he did. He coming in there to fight. Right? Go give it his all. So he go try to push Earl Spence to the limit. Right? So you telling me you don't want Earl Spence coming off of that, bro, if he victorious? You don't want Earl Spence coming off of that if he victorious? He got three scraps. You got the last scrap. That's the biggest fight in boxing. Earl Spence and turns Bud Crawford is the biggest fight in boxing in 2022. Nobody can tell me different. I say Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford is the biggest fight in 2022, and nobody can tell me different. It's no bigger fight, bro. It's no bigger fight. You understand what I'm saying? You got to go by the years and what people been wanting, what people been looking for, and what people been hoping for. We was hoping for that Earl, I mean that Deontay Wilder and that fucking um, Anthony Joshua. People was hoping for that um, Anthony Joshua and that Tyson Fury fight. You dig what I'm saying? Those was big heavyweight fights that could have outdid some things. But now, you know, we got my brother Canelo right there, but Canelo ain't got that fight out there that everybody really won't, 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 won't. You know, the Charlo fight is right there, but it's not like, oh, we want that. You dig? We just want to see Canelo fight those dudes to show that Canelo can beat their ass. But when we look at that, Earl Spencer turns Bud Crawford, that's a 50-50 fight that people want that feel like, oh my God. God, that shit is going to be fireworks, bro. It's going to be fireworks. And I'm telling you, if it get made, I mean, everybody and their mama going to be there. Everybody and their mama going to get a take on that fight. Everybody and their mama going to say, oh, my God, this shit is what it is, fam. This is what it is, fam. You dig? So it's up to Turns T. Bud Crawford to play ball, man. It's up to Bud to play ball, bro. You understand? Earl Spence want this fight, dog. Earl going to do what he got to do to get this fight. Like you said, I got two fights left at the welterweight division. Um, he was going to go fight Manny Pacquiao. He thought Manny Pacquiao was going to be reinstated to the WA Super Champion, but they left him with your Dennis Ugas. Earl was going to beat Manny Pacquiao. Then after that, he was going to go fight your Dennis Ugas, get that scrap. Then he was coming for Terrence Bud Crawford. Earl caught the eye injury. The Pacquiao fight fell out. Now he's going to fight your Dennis Ugas for that scrap, and he's coming for Terrence T. Bud Crawford. This has always been Earl Spence's plans. This has always been Earl Spence's plan. Two more fights at the welterweight division. I'm going to 150, um, 154. He's going up to 154. You dig what I'm saying? So now, man, we in a position in boxing, bro, to where boxing can flourish. Boxing can flourish. We got Shakur Stevenson going up against Oscar Valdez. We might get Canelo Alvarez going up against Jamal Charlo. We finna get Amanda Serrano going up against Katie Teller. We can get Earl Spence going up against Terrence Tebow Crawford. We get Jamel Charlo going up against Brian Cassano for Undisputed. We can get fucking Caden Plant and, and David Benavidez. I mean, we can get so many big-time fights, bro. So many big time fights. Still can get Anthony Joshua versus um um Tyson Fury or Deontay Wilder if he step back into there and get him a few wins in. So it's a lot of big time fights that can get made out there, bro. 
a lot of big time fights, bro. You know, I can go down to the small welterweights and things of that nature. So, you know, 140, um, 135, like it's so many big fights that get made out there. But I think these are the fights that's going to set the stage for 2022. I say going to set the stage for 2022. And we need it, bro. We need it. So what we need is the suits and we need the fighters to start playing ball for us, the fans, to get in line and do what we got to do to push this sport you know what I'm saying, in the front, and, you know, we go always be over UFC, I love UFC, I know what people be saying, I, I'm not the, the biggest um, um, hardcore fan, I'm a casual, but I still love the UFC, because they put on good fights, but boxing will always trump UFC to me, bro, always, always, and we got so many great fights to get made to show that we trump the UFC, but we got to start playing ball, family, we got to start playing ball, Javante Davis versus Lomachenko, tell me I don't want to see that, man, Javante Davis versus Devin Haney, Devontae Davis versus Ryan Garcia, Ryan Garcia versus T.O., T.O. versus that. Like, man, there's so many big fights to be made. So many big fights to be made. But like I say, Earl Spence versus Terrence Seabuzz Crawford, and I'm standing on these words, y'all might not like it. It's the biggest fight in boxing. If it get made, y'all will see what I'm talking about. If it get made, y'all will see what I'm talking about. If it get made, y'all will see what Monty Brown is talking about. Because this is one of the fights that's lingering over the years and over the years and over the years that everybody want to see. And sometimes you think you're not going to get it. While both of these dudes are still in their prime, while both of them still undefeated, while both of them are still champions, make this fight happen. Terrence Crawford, you're not with Bob Arm no more. You are a free agent. You don't need him to make your fights no more. You don't need nobody to make your fights. Step your ass up and make your own fights. Be a boss. Be a man. Understand the business. You feel me? And make this shit happen, man. Good luck to both of y'all. Until then, it's your boy Money. It's the NSBC moving and nobody's safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you want to donate. OG Money on Cash App. Trade out the 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit the subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.